There are people in this world that as you're climbing up the ladder of success, they'll walk by and just kick it over for shits and giggles. They don't want to see you succeed. They're going to push that ladder of success over uh, just because they're envious of mankind. Achieving one's life purpose is pretty important, right? Uh, today I'm going to instruct you on how to apply yourself to achieve your purpose in life. Hey, what's up? It's Coach Carroll. Welcome to another video here on the YouTube channel. As always, make sure you hit subscribe and ring that bell. Today, I'm going to go over a couple of steps. I think we got six of them here for you on how you can achieve your purpose in life, uh, both fundamentally, but also philosophically. Number one is pretty simple and you may think, oh, come on coach, but I'm telling you it's super important. Write out your purpose on paper, sign it and commit it to memory every day by affirmations or prayer. Again, no matter what your belief is, some of these things work. It's just plain and simple. And, and, and you know what I'm sharing with you today is out of my studies of Napoleon Hill several, several years ago, I actually told Andy, I found these notes. I wrote this stuff in 2014. So, um, you know, if you can write down your purpose in life and you know, some people will tell me they're like, man, coach, I don't know what my purpose is. My first question is, how long have you spent looking for it? It's not something that just like shows up and rings the ring doorbell and says, hello, I'm here, let me in. You really have to spend some time both in thought and prayer and meditation and think about what is it uh, that you want to do with your life. That's one of the greatest gifts that we have is free will and the ability to decide what our purpose is. Number two, write out a clear and definite plan or plans, may take multiple plans, by which you'll use to achieve your purpose and most importantly, put a timeline on it. But you also have to understand you gotta be flexible with that timeline. I'll tell you guys a little story about that here in a second. But write out clear and definite plans or plans by which you'll use to achieve your purpose. You know, having that purpose, having that thing that you want to do with your life, maybe it's you want to save all the puppies in the world. Uh, you could do something as simple as saying, hey, all right, my plan is step number one, I'm going to try to raise $10,000 uh, for the local animal shelter. But down that road, that multiple plan, the multi year plan could be that, hey, I'm going to actually start an animal shelter or I'm going to go run the animal shelter that I've got in my town. That's totally okay. You know, too often I feel like, especially my generation, us millennials, we get so caught up in like the materialistic money side of things that unfortunately like these noble causes, they're kind of looked down upon because it's like, well, that's not going to make you rich, but riches aren't everything. Sometimes just living a good, comfortable life, but knowing that you're doing good for others can be your purpose. Uh, one thing I want to share with you though, is that your purpose is your purpose. That's your dream. You have to own that dream and don't let anybody else talk you out of it. The reason why I said you've got to be a little flexible, make a, you know, a plan with a timeline, but, but make that plan flexible is because things are going to happen in your life. Um, you're going to lose grandparents. You're going to lose parents. You're going to lose friends. You're going to lose businesses. I've shared this in another video, but you know, back in 2015, I was just boom, boom, boom. I mean, pumping right along, man. Easy Pro was firing on all cylinders and, uh, you know, I was speaking and coaching and everything was great. And I was buying real estate and I bought this fitness center, Elite Fitness. At the time it was called Watsy's House of Iron. Uh, but I had this vision, right? I had this, this plan that I was going to buy this fitness center and that I was going to rebrand it and, and just completely rebuild this thing so that it would be a, a cash flow machine. The problem was, I didn't stick true to my purpose. And any time that I've really been hurt in business, it's because I've strayed from my purpose. And so long story short, I ended up losing that business, uh, half a million dollars worth of real estate, six figure business. It sucked, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, but again, that's that importance of being flexible uh, so that in the timeline of life, when bad things happen to you, you know, it's, a set, it's simply a setback. It's, you know, it's not anything that's detrimental. It's not, you know, very few things in this world can happen to you that will keep you from attaining your purpose. You have to realize, like, if you live to be 80 and you find your purpose at 40, like, you still have 40 more years to make it happen or to live that purpose out. All right, number three is probably one of the things that, like, if you've ever been to a casino, it's like, 
damn. <laughs> don't ignore your hunches. How many times, if you've been to a casino, I know it's happened to me all the time. Maybe I shouldn't say how many times. I'm not like an addicted gambler or anything, but you know, it's like you're walking past the roulette table. I was just in Vegas a couple of weeks ago speaking at the nightclub bar show, and you know, Tori and I were walking past the roulette table, and I was like, man, look at that run on red. I bet it's about to go black. And I go over and I look at the table, and I almost put $100 down on black, but I sat there. I was like, ah, I'm not going to do it. It was a hunch, right? What happens? It lands on black. I would have won 100 bucks. But if you ignore your hunches, you're essentially ignoring your subconscious mind. Napoleon Hill talks about this a lot in his work that you know every person has two minds. We have the conscious mind, which is what I am right now. I'm awake. I'm consciously thinking about things. And then we have the unconscious or the subconscious mind, which is what happens when we go to sleep. Our subconscious takes over. And a lot of times they say that you know these hunches are your is your subconscious mind trying to send you an idea. Um, Napoleon Hill talks about in Thinking Grow Rich, the Mastermind Alliance, and how if you can tap into the Mastermind Alliance, he believed that you could connect with any mind that's ever lived. I know, kind of crazy, kind of out there, but imagine like if you just sat down and you had a common goal that, like, say, Abraham Lincoln had, even though he's gone, you you know, in, in theory, you could sit down and meditate and if you guys had the same thoughts, you were working on the same plans, Napoleon Hill believed that you could still tap into his mind even though it was a past mind that was here. Um, pretty wild stuff. I don't know how much I believe of it, but you know, it's kind of cool to think about. So again, don't ignore hunches. It's your subconscious mind trying to send you an idea. Number four, you must wait for infinite intelligence to do its part. And this is like the most difficult. I posted this on Instagram the other day. If you guys aren't following me, it's at DJ underscore Carol or just search hashtag Coach Carol. Uh, but you have to be patient. You know, the, the hustle, the grind, that's not the hard part of entrepreneurship. It's really not. The most difficult part about entrepreneurship is the patience. It's putting things into motion. It's, you know, Andy and I are making these videos and it's like, come on, man, where are the subscribers at? Where are all the people? We want to help them. Like, where, come on, let's go. And sometimes you just have to wait for infinite intelligence, God, the universe, whatever you believe in. You have to give itself some, give itself some time so that it can do the work. It can create the magic. And again, much like the gym story that I just shared with you, any time that I've really tried to push on the timelines or that I've gotten impatient, it's typically not went too well. So again, wait for infinite intelligence to do its part. Number five, keep your major purpose to yourself. <laughs> there are people in this world that as you're climbing up the ladder of success, they'll walk by and just kick it over for shits and giggles. They don't want to see you succeed. They're going to push that ladder of success over uh, just because they're envious of mankind. Maybe they've made some bad choices that's kind of pigeonholed them into their life that they're living. And uh, you know, the only way that they can see to speak out about that is by raining on other people's parade. Again, there's a video, Andy can link it up here, that we put up about negative people and how to avoid those types of people. So you know, avoid the ladder kicker overs, <laughs> if you will. Uh, but you have to understand that keeping your major purpose to yourself is super important because there are people in this world that will be envious of you. There are people in this world that, you know, <laughs> And it's like really hitting home, kind of getting some cold chills right now because I, re I remember like when I was a little old DJ graduating from high school with my Walmart push more, I'm a Walmart weed eater and I'm out there just hustling every day. People are like, good for you, man. You're such a hard worker. We hope you make it. Good job. Go, go you. And then I started making more money in those people. And now all of a sudden they went from being fans to critics, right? They started telling me like, you know, well, DJ thinks he's hot shit. Well, DJ's, you know, he's just cock the walk. He thinks he's some badass that, you know, he doesn't know nothing. He just started out mowing grass. You have to understand that this world uh, is full of both positive and negative. And so, um, you know, don't let other people's envy of your success ruin your pursuit of your purpose. Uh, the only way to speak about your definite purpose is through actions and deeds. Let your actions speak for itself. After the fact, not before, don't, don't speak, oh man, I'm doing this, this, and this, and this. Because unfortunately, sometimes your parents. Unfortunately, sometimes your spouse. Unfortunately, sometimes your best friend. They'll be the person that wants to kick the ladder out from underneath of you. So keep that to yourself. 
It's your dream. As Brendan Burchard, Brendan Burchard says, it's your dream. I own my dream, right? Uh, High Performance Academy. I went to that a couple years ago. It was a great seminar. Highly recommend that. Highly recommend you guys follow Brendan. A uh, great friend of mine. He says, you know, I own my dream. You have to own your dream and not let anyone else take that away from you or push it away. Number six, leave your plan flexible. Again, things are going to happen. Life is going to happen. Uh, unexpected you know, uh, occurrences or circumstances are going to happen. Be flexible. I have it in my notes that I read every morning. Be flexible like bamboo. Bend, but don't break. You have to like believe in yourself even when other people don't believe in you. And, and that means that when you have setbacks, uh, you, know, you, you get knocked down, you have to understand that, hey, just because it didn't happen on your timeline doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. Sometimes we got to let God work his magic, right? Or the universe work its magic, whatever your belief may be. You know, all we can do is put our free will to use and, and, and try to, you know, maximize on every hour of every day and, you know, make sure that we're putting in our 110%. But uh, understand that just because something hasn't happened yet doesn't mean that it'll never happen. I hope these six tips help you uh, achieve your purpose in life, no matter what it may be. If you'd like to share that with our community here, please leave a comment down below. I'd love to read it. Otherwise, here's to your success. We'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, it's Coach Carroll. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you click right here to subscribe to the channel to be notified when we drop new videos. Over here's the video that I recommend you watch next. And last but not least, over here you can click to get my free book, Phenomenal Phone Calls. We'll see you in the next video. Here's to your success.